So this right here is a little AI agent inside my browser. Now it's completely free and basically it allows me to do three things. It allows me to actually use it to browse the web for me based on a prompt. I can also crawl so I can go and search through sites and I can extract data into Google Sheets. Now this here is Retriever AI and as you can see, it says retrieve the web with AI. Literally all you do is install the Chrome extension. It's literally that simple and sign up and you're good to go. Now you get like five requests, I think it is completely free to see what it's like. Then after that, it's like $10 a month. So we're gonna have a look at the free plan, see how, how it does. So one of the main selling points is how it is secure. So if we come right down to the bottom, you can see, you can learn more about the security measurements. But essentially what it is, is that they have, allow you to have private browsing history. So they don't store your browsing history. They don't store the data that they scrape. Additionally, sheets that you give it access to, you only give it limited access to certain sheets, the ones that it can use. And also, if it is to go and do its own tasks, it does it all in its own little kind of Chrome Chrome profile, which is pretty cool. So that's what's sandboxing essentially, right? So really quite cool. And if you look more at their integrations, you can uh, integrate it into using Google Sheets for like complex workflows. So go and scrape and leads, pull it back in put it in a, a sheet, which is pretty cool. You can also record ones, repeat perfectly. So if you just show it something to do, it can then replicate that, which is perfect until the website changes. Um, it runs in parallel, so it's fast, secure. As I was saying, you can integrate integrate it with any API. So think of it like an MCP server. Um, and then it's DOM powered precision. So essentially they say it's hallucination free. DOM for reference is essentially referring to the HTML on the page, so it just like scrapes the actual HTML, so that's how it's called, a DOM only agent. Basically, scrapes the website word for word and uses that information. So we're gonna have a look and see how good it is, how good it is, how good it is. Uh, <laughs> and so I had tried it just briefly before the video, um, and my first take of this, um, is to see, can it find the page and follow it? And I actually did it really, I was pretty impressed by it. So I wonder if I can clear it all, yep. And here we go, here's some examples. So we'll just show you that one, Full Retriever on LinkedIn, because this is one of its like demo ones, so it should be really good at it. So first it goes to my LinkedIn profile. Somehow it scrolls down. I don't know why it should scroll down. There you go, it searches for Retriever AI. And it's actually right at the very top. So I don't know why it's scrolling all the way down here, when it could just stay at the top. So that was made it scroll back up, but it done everything else. So I actually followed itself there. I'll scroll back up. You can see that it followed itself, 178 followers, and I am one, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can see that it does stuff like that really simply, but I think, let's try and give it something. So there's a couple of different things that it can do, main uh, ways that it works. Act, crawl, extract. Act, go and do something. Crawl, go and find something. Extract, go and get information. So extract, pull stuff into Google Sheets, essentially. Crawl, goes through web pages act actually goes and does an action like following someone for example so let's do something for example let's uh, get it to go to chat gpt find the latest thing happening in ai and then tweet about it so let's uh, put it as act and let's see what it does so i'm hoping it goes to chat gpt i've got my hands up so you can see i'm hoping it goes to chat gpt um, and then it'll actually start chatting with ChatGPT. But it looks like it's going to try and go to ChatGPT on LinkedIn. We'll see what it does. But I basically wanted it to go to ChatGPT and then actually talk to the LLM and then find out the information, then go to my Twitter and from there actually then tweet about it. But um, it seems to still just be looking there. Oh, there we go. Right, it's on openai.com. So I wonder if because it's in its Chrome own Chrome profile, I wonder if it even is, because it looks like it's on my profile. We'll look at the history after this to see. But essentially, I want to see if it will get the latest and, and actually interact with another LLM. Because I think something that's really underrated is like the ability to get these LLMs to talk to one another. Obviously, we have agent-to-agent -agent protocol now, which is pretty cool. Um, and you'll have seen the thing where it's like the two videos, the video of the, like the two agents, um, someone posted on LinkedIn, it was like, oh, are you an agent? So am I, let's just talk and bleep, and it goes bleep, 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 that kind of stuff, right? But anyway, we'll see uh, <laughs> what it gets up to, and then we'll check the history 
as well. I think real world use cases for this kind of thing, which can be cool. Let me see, is it doing anything here? So, comparing the dates, latest news, blah, blah, blah. I need to extract the title and date. Expanding on what we missed, blah, blah, blah. Now I need to tweet about this, so we'll use the create tweet tool. The tweet should summarize the latest tools. Critical pre-action check. I have identified the latest news. Need to use the task cross tweeting, which is a separate action. Cool. Go do it. All right, so we'll see now if it can go in and tweet. Um, but yeah, I think cool use cases for this, for example, for me would be like, well, I mean, obviously it's like data pipelines. Um, writing code could be cool too. Um, seeing how it interacts with actually the real world and scraping information for a market and stuff like that. Um, wait, it's not even doing the thing. Go to x.com and tweet it. It's not even doing the thing. But one main one, honestly, is on the school community, I'm always updating pages and stuff and trying to actually get it to... Oh, is it going to know what to do? AF is AF. Still my latest one. I don't even know what that email could be. What is going on here, man? Can't you get rid of the box? Wait, your post was sent. Has it done it? Has it tweeted for me? Oh my God, it's done it. Yes, that's great. We'll just see. Latest AI news from OpenAI. Creators of ChatGPT expanding on what they missed with Psychofancy. I actually don't even know what that word means. So, I mean, it actually worked. Wait, hold on. Goodbye, GPT-4, you kicked off. Oh, it's gone. Rip. But uh, it seems to have done the stuff, but it just didn't work very intelligently. I wonder, can I change the models and stuff? Um, yeah, there we go. Choose model. Gemini Flash, you can do Pro Flash, Experimental Thinking Flashlight. I wonder if that's because you can actually use these for free inside the AI Studio. So in the AI Studio, you can get an API key in the first, as we'll see here, click on it. Oh. See, although you need to... It's not going to let me look at it, but here. Although you need to pay, you can see that on rate limits, so in the middle of the screen, down the bottom, uh, you get like, you know, 150 um, RPM for free, you get five. Um, 25 requests a day so maybe using something like that to get the free one but um, as for credits let's go and see them see what it says set up payments uh, da, 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 da. 100 for a thousand credits per month right for reference I think you start I thought you started with wait why am I still here I thought you started with 50 but must have started with 100 but anyway yes yeah, so that's pretty cool so the real world just case I want to try was um School.com, essentially here in school, I'm always updating things inside the classroom. Um, so for example, in AI tools, we have all of these tools, right? And I want to like continually update the tools, which is cool. But then I wonder how does that impact what people need to know about agents? So like A to A's come out, you know, MCPs, etc. All these captured in here. So I want to get the model to go through, or the agent to go through and essentially capture all of the chapters. So say, from my school community classroom, can you extract to Google Sheets all of the course information or all of the courses? We'll just say that and we'll say extract and we'll see what it does. So the idea is that we want it to click through every single one and pull in the information. So essentially just click and scrape it click and scrape it. So, boom, first of all, that's pretty cool. Actually, it's just made a Google Sheet. They didn't even uh, ask me to do anything. Although you give it permissions when you sign up. But like, that is that is really quite cool. So it's pulled in the source website and the course name, right? So now I say, go through each course name and inside there, get the folders slash pages so that I have a comprehensive view. And then we'll say extract again, and we'll see what it does. So, oh, that's current tab. Wait, stop that, stop, stop, stop. So as you can see, it's on current tab. We want it to be across tabs. So we want it to have all of our tabs in. Let me see, whoops. So we want it to be this one and school. And then we want that same 
same prompt, so I'll just copy that. And we'll go here, click that, that's cool. Da, da, da. Extract to Google Sheet. And let's see what it does. So, hopefully it should figure out to go to my school community and from there grab the information. Now, I'm honestly, I'm not sure because really what I would do here I think is probably the best thing would be to go to ChatGPT, get an enhanced prompt that's really specific. I.e. you want it to be specific, I think, as well about the DOM. So, for example, if we go to here, oh, started looking, and you go to inspect. From inspect, we can actually see here, this is like essentially the DOM, right? Now, all of this HTML, you want to be really specific on what you want it to look at, um, and then you'll get the best response. So if we were like, oh, look at every one of, you know, whatever it's called. So I don't even know what any of them would be called. I've never looked at this for the website before. But you'd find like the name like styled course wrapper or whatever. And say, get all of those. But anyway, we'll see what it does. It seems to be uh, moving around. It'd be weird to see how intelligent it is because Gemini is really good at visual processing. Although I am very impressed by GPT which is all four that seems to use pictures and its reasoning abilities. That's crazy stuff, man. So we'll see what's it thinking here. The previous step success. You can examine the updated one. Since I cannot find a clickable link in the Google Sheet, I'll use the Google search tab. Search so generic query. So I wonder if I click in one if it will do it. So let me click inside the AI Foundations. And we'll see. Da 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 da. Oh. Oh, it is late at night, but also, I mean, I thought it'd be much faster, much better. Um, so far, it has done nothing. So let me cancel that one again. And we'll go back to current tab. Can provide further instructions, it looks like. But I mean, the stop button, I've been clicking stop. I've pressed it like probably a hundred times. Come on, man. Paused, stop, stop now, no. Let me refresh the page. No, it's not refreshed this year. So I seem to have broken it. That's disappointing. Um, then can I play it again or what can I do here? Cancel it, no. Um, use this page. We are on AI Foundations. But yeah, I think this kind of thing could be really cool. See the browser use stuff. I think it'll be really good for, we have this, new explosion or I mean it's always been there I suppose in some way but oh. extract data well I suppose he's just going to get confused now but anyway we've had this no low code um, explosion recently on AI um, and it would be weird now to get AI to then go and get the aha uh -huh, maybe working now to get AI to go and use the low code, no code solutions. So like everybody's worried it's gonna take software engineer jobs, but then we have all this low code stuff, no code like make and NAN, and then just getting computer use agents to go and create those agents, which you know is quite interesting. So we've got, I seems to have gotten one, um, which is that one page here. Um, exercise, page title, lesson, can you get it for all lessons? So the one thing I, I it keeps looking like here is that it's not actually able to understand context properly, which I find is one of the most difficult things when interacting with an LLM is every time you talk to one, it's like you have to give it all this context. And it's good for ChatGPT, they have so much information now in the background and memories and stuff that they're able to actually uh, in some way get more context, but they're still not perfect. But like, that's why, for example, you know, all of these, uh, yeah, so it's just made stuff up. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing. We'll see, but I think it could be the prompt. But essentially, that's why product managers and stuff are going to be so important going forward um, in architects as opposed to, you know, uh, yeah. Sorry, I think that's an interesting take. But there you go. So is it good? Yes, it's decent for single little tasks. But is it actually good for big, long Long form tasks, probably not. It's pretty cool that it was able to go and tweet. Um, let's actually just briefly see um, 
if it can just chat away to chat GPT because that would be pretty cool. Um, say, can you chat with chat GPT to find a cure for all walls? Boom, let's go a, a wee bit of that one. Whoa, it's like that. Um, and then act, and we'll see what it does. So hopefully it will find the box pretty fast and then just go back and forth and we'll see how long it can go. Because they only have max credits because I haven't given it my um, bank card. So let's see. I have chatted with ChatGPT to find a cure for all walls. So what's the solution? And where did you do this? Hmm. I'm not convinced. Well, anyway, there's a bunch of stuff that looks like we can do here, extra stuff. But honestly, as it goes for an app, a Chrome extension, I think there's too much going on. Like if it was going to be a act, crawl, extract as their main features, they should call it like, you know, ace.ai or something. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Go and check out the school community. If you want to learn how to apply AI from zero, right? So you get taught foundations, agents, and tech 101. Then you want to stay up to date with the latest in AI, AI Tools Mastery. Prompt base to get started from day zero. Templates to get started from day zero. Masterclass to get you up to scratch to build your own agents, build them for clients, and then AI for content creation as well. So if you're interested, come and have a look. There's a seven day free trial. So if you don't like it, just come send me a message. Tell me why you don't like it. We'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, it's no risk. Anyway, hope to see you inside. Take care.